to introduce the Lord Lef Cadet, Lieutenant's Cadets for 2013. From the Sea Cadet Corps, we have Leading Cadet Benjamin Robinson from Training Ship Scarborough SCC. From the Army Cadet Force, we have Cadet Staff Sergeant Alex William James from 1st Detachment of the ACF. From the Air Training Corps, we have Cadet Sergeant Jordan Maidley, 58th uh, Harrogate Squadron, APC. <laughs> and from the Air Training Corps, we have Cadet Sergeant Jordan Maidley. <laughs> Some of my aspirations, while I'm doing all the my hobbies and my interests. As you can see by that nice medical doctor there, some of you may catch that I want to be a doctor in order. Um, I'm currently doing my UCAS application for this, as it, ha it happens. So that's just one thing I thought I'd tell you what. I want to be a doctor in the area that happens. Um, I guess you all sort of knew that. That's one of the reasons why I joined Cadets. It's a big thing for me. I wanted to get in the area, get in the understanding and the knowledge of the service I was like to join. And my, my aspiration is the Air Training Corps. Every cadet in the Air Training Corps wants to aspire to be the best they can be. It's, it's one of those pinnacles and the thrive from everyone helps that. Some of the things I'd like to do in the Air Training Corps, for example, my junior leaders, that's one thing that I aspire to do. And I hopefully will be doing this in the coming months on the next course. Another thing I aspire is obviously to go up the ranks as every cadet wants to. And I would one day want like to be a cadet rank officer. So there's where Okay, my hobbies. I am a very keen basketballer, as you can see there, with two of my team photos as I played for my school. And I have played for Harrogate teams as well. Actually, in the top photo there, that is my school team, under 17, accepting a regional basketball trophy. You can see I'm holding the ball there as I'm the vice captain for that. And the bottom one is the under 19, so I don't play the biggest role, but still I play a role, and that's winning a regional trophy as well. Yeah. Okay, first, now, my family. I wouldn't be here, the person I am, without my family. My family are the thing that drive me forward, the thing that made me who I am. So I'd like to show you a little bit of my family. I'm not going to explain every photo because. 
we have here today. Um, as you can see there, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, granddads, it's all there really. That's my rock. Okay, one thing I personally feel is the biggest thing to cadets are parades and fundraising because it gives you a sense of honour being stood out there in front of a memorial, in front of hundreds of spectators representing their training corps. Um, and every cadet will know that feeling of standing to attention in the rain. But part and parcel, it comes with cadets and it's one thing you just have to take on the chin. As you can see at the top right and left, they are my probably favourite parade photos I've seen. They are from Battle of Britain Parade in 2011. And I was, as you can see, carrying the stand on the far right there. The rest of the photos are different types of fundraising. I've done many bits of fundraising. I've fundraised with Poppy Appeal, RFA, Charitable Trust, Royal Air Force Association, a lot. Camps. Okay. I've been at many camps. Um, highlights, main camps I enjoyed the most were my first camp. Obviously, everyone loves the first camp, Maru. Uh, Alcar, I've gone three years of running. It's that good. And Watfield. As you can see, top left and right, that's the new tactical unit for the train car. <laughs> nah, we really shouldn't have took those photos. <laughs> you can see some big officers here just stirring the seats. Um, but yeah. Uh, we've done a lot of things through camps. I've been to the U-Boat Museum, Beatles Museum, Maritime Museum. I've got swimming certificates, everything. As you can see in the bottom left uh, and middle right, we managed to um, order McDonald's in a squad. It is capable and they did serve us. That is a highlight of the camp, I'm not going to lie. Okay, anyone who knows me will know I love drum. It's I'd like to thank my old warrant officer, Neil Lloyd, for that. He sort of pushed that into all our cadets as the 50 Arab Squadron have a good tradition with drill. We've won um, wing training day drill for four out of five years or so. And once again, we did that this year, and I won drill, best drill in CM. We went on to region, which sadly we did come second place, but it wasn't by much, and next year that's going to be ours. There's no doubt about it. As you can see in this, that middle photo there, with a very, very goofy smile, um, with my mum and dad, I recently won the Royal Air Force Association Northern Area Young Person of the Year. This was out of 24 cadets that were nominated for it. And for that, I first of all wrote a nomination, so the things I've done, what I enjoy, what I'm doing, all day my school career and a reference. From that, they had selected another eight for interviews and I went to our local Royal Air Force Association branch for an interview and then nicely got a letter for the person saying, you've won. And well, that was a very big moment for me and I think I ran out of the house about four times. As you see in the top left, I, my latest awards night for cadets was the Master of Ceremonies. I sort of put my foot in my mouth at one fundraising event. I was selling programmes for the Royal Air Force Association Charitable Trust and accidentally said to my CEO, I can speak to anyone. <laughs> and he turned back, well I've got a surprise for you. And the next couple of weeks I was in front of the stage Dressing everyone. Okay, I've got a lot of thank yous to say. Firstly, I'd like to thank Lord Crawford and Reserve Forces and Care Association for giving me this opportunity and letting me escort him. It's a great honour and I could not be more thrilled and honoured to take it. Thank you very much, sir. Secondly, I'd like to thank all wing staff everything you've done from our time in cadets, through every course as you've run, absolutely everything. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am. 
Secondly, I'd like to thank my squadron staff for the same. In particular, I'd like to thank my CEO, Flight Attendant Dewhurst, and my adult staff, Sergeant, Sergeant Foster. So, first of all, for putting me forward for this, um, generally teaching me their ways, everything about cadets. I'd like to thank them for that. And then, I'd like to thank my parents, my mum, my dad, who are nicely sat at the back there trying to hide. Um, firstly, for everything they've done, they've made me the people I am today. And as I've said there, personal taxi service. Can't say much more than that. And I'd like to end on saying thank you to the General Cadet Corps, because without cadets, I would not be where I am today. Cadets have made me the man I am. There's nothing else I can tell, so I'm not going to say about that. And thank you all for coming. Since joining 58 Squadron in 2010, Jordan's leadership potential was identified at an early stage and was promoted to Sergeant in September 2012. Sergeant Major Meadley is an enthusiastic cadet who has completed a gliding scholarship course, is currently engaged in the Duke of Edinburgh's award programme, working towards his gold award. Jordan is a very committed cadet who constantly leads from the front. He acts as a role model for his peers, new cadets and staff members alike. This was demonstrated in his recent success at winning the best drill NCO at the Wing Training Day. Sergeant Mabley also holds the honour of being squadron banner bearer during the formal parades, competitions and services. On occasions he has carried the branch standard for both Rafa and the British Legion. Sergeant Major Lee is an excellent ambassador for the squadron, wing, and the Air Cadet Organisation. Cadet Sergeant Jordan Major. So I'm going to invite you to say a few words.